leave. Well, there's a show but just... this is this is gonna this is what I wanted to see now, too. Next time when you're here, hopefully some of the trains will be running. Right now, unfortunately, all my trains run. Now, Whoa! As you're, as you're coming in here, I am proud of my sea monkey. That's like a Fiji mermaid. Yeah, that's what I said. It's my sea monkey. <laughs> One day it was National Sea Monkey. So as you know, the sea monkeys are not that not awesome. So I, I leave my sea monkey. Whoa! This place is incredible. And then we were talking about the chips earlier. Ponch and John. Yep. Oh no, look at that. What? Look at it. Oh, Pee Wee, okay. Seems like there's a light off in here. I guess there's a light off right now. That is sweet. And then it kind of morphs into the Tim Burton ish shelf. Because you know, Pee Wee was, the big adventure was directed by Tim Burton, so I kind of. But you'll notice I combine the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer Santa with Jack the Skeleton. Look how. But, but what what is uh, Dory doing here? Oh, I don't know. That, is, <laughs> that makes sense to me. Dory looks great glowing in the dark. Wow, this is this is amazing. There are supposed to be six trains running as you're panning around. I always see a train track. The trains aren't supposed to be running, but I'm always I'm always having a wearing on the train, so all my trains are in major repair right now. How how do you ever leave this room? How do you okay, how do you even put stuff back there without knocking stuff over? Uh, it gets to be fun because you will notice that I do have to pick up some stuff around here. And then, of course, occasionally you'll notice him and I make mistakes with that nice, beautiful piece of track. I don't see anything wrong with it, do you? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Look at this place. Oh. <laughs> Look at Spock. What is that? I didn't even... I don't even remember those. I think that was a McDonald's restaurant pretty much. Thank you, but yeah, Because then you might notice you got a strange looking joker up or two to get ready to walk across the high wire. Is that Martin Short? I guess it is. If you don't ask me the character's name, I forgot. Ed Grimley. It, yeah, Ed Grimley. Wow. Yeah, you just... Is that a DeLorean? Uh, yes, it is. I drive back to the future, yeah, pretty small. <laughs> Holy cow. I don't see people. You you need to get people in off the road to come here. This this is incredible. Well, this is like I said, only, and, only about twenty percent of why I came back in LA. And then, oh yeah, you're looking. Well, you might notice Kevin's not home alone anymore. <laughs> oh wow, Kevin is over. I see him. I was looking at the train track to start with, and then yeah. And then, as you might notice, there's that's a shelf, and it's all celebrity dolls, so it must be my celebrity shelf. <laughs> so I do have a celebrity chef up here. You might know it's Mr. Chef. Mr. Chef. Look at this place. Wow. Yeah, you just stepped it up in the roadside attraction area here. And then over here you might notice all the bugs are playing Twister, so to speak, including Herbie the Love Bug. Oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> So even in uh, your theming inside here, you There's have bad puns. puns. Puns are bad, just bad sense of humor. Uh, you might notice our current president, Mr. Trump, thinks I have to make Cowboys in the Western scene, so he's trying to fire a few. <laughs> and I'm being politically correct here. You might notice I do have the Republican and the Democrat. Wow. You put so much thought and effort in. What is the Wolfman? Well, that, that that's Twilight. Vampires hang out with the real werewolf. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, just to play it. And then, of course, Star Wars, and you might remember when I was a kid growing up, I always thought that I wished I get snow on Planet Hoth. I never saw one snowman be built on the entire planet at all. So, 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 <laughs> so you got one up I there. Got one that, you know, Rebel Snowman. And then, of course, you know, the Millen Fire is always hard to get started, so Han's always banging on, so I got the Millen Fire up to help out a little. I mean, got the Energizer Bunny up, up there to help out a little bit. Oh, that's what he's doing up there. And then, of course, you already made a comment about, about it in the other one, but the uh, mail? I, never saw, I never saw a mail truck on a planet, so I don't know if I got the mail delivered, so I do have the mail truck coming to town now. <laughs> And then, of course, George Lucas re-digitalized everything, so you had all that new cameo stuff, such as Spongebob skiing off the side of the mountain, and, and Olaf, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Olaf's up there? Yeah, he's over on the top of the turret, I guess you call it turret. Oh, oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah you gotta throw Olaf for the new generation. And then, I guess you remember that classic scene where they're penning the battle scene with the Adats. Mm -hmm. Wayne Gretzky was down there playing ice hockey, I assume you remember that. I don't remember that. Well, I create the scene for, for you to remember. I know Mr. Lane's over playing ice hockey over. I think the beam might be in your lane or shots here. I don't know. So blame Lane Becker. Oh, I see Gretz. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
They even followed the Dukes of the Hazard car leaping out of the sky there. You'll notice it's probably going to crash into the saloon down there. You might notice the mash truck is there ready to help them out. And then this time, Cheech and Chong are higher than the drugstore. And the A-team's over there, too. too yeah. Then it probably means nothing to you because you're not from my generation. But uh, the Alamo place, that, which I'm not that old, by the way, but the Alamo place that has been on by Fest Parker and Buddy Epson, so that's my favorite piece for that reason. I used to watch Daniel Boone and, and uh, Davy Crockett. Oh, yeah. well, that, <laughs> that's been signed by Fess Parker and Buddy Upson. Because <laughs> it's just seen Buddy Upson going, well, what am I signing here? <laughs> you had no idea why he's signing. <laughs> Look, and you got Grizzly Adams. Yeah, great. Oh, yeah, and speaking of Grizzly Adams, we brought him up. I know you're going for the puzzle, I think. If you look down there, there he is with his bear, the toy with the bear. Oh, wow. But you probably ate there. He had, he had a great hot hamburger stand in, in uh, Studio City. No, I didn't hamburger. know that. He actually, I think it was called Grizzly Grizzly Burgers or something like that. But yes, he had a hamburger joint towards the end, and he he had awesome burgers. And he was actually there. Uh, he was there cooking his own hamburgers for you. Wow. So that was pretty cool. And then what, Billy Kid? It seems like you might know Billy Kid there too. I know you seem like you're talking about Billy Kid, so you're like a fan. Oh, I, yeah, I'm a fan. Yeah, as I said, so, <laughs> I was just pointing Billy Kid out of there. In case you didn't <laughs> hanging, yep. hanging, hanging out with the uh, with the very hello boys. Yeah, you know, makes sense to me. What? Hold on, where are they at? In the truck right there. I don't have granny, so you might be getting thrown away right there. Oh, the here they are, right in front. You got so much to see. It's hard to. Yeah, where is granny? Yeah, I don't have granny yet. You got Coco. Got Coco, yeah. So you see, I keep up with popular culture. I see, I got something. I got to pick up the one. I see a couple of my characters have died over there. So. <laughs> Jake They're not supposed to be laying dead over there. So, how do you fix the stuff back there? You lift one of the kids over? I, I, I will take some of the stuff off the table and have to lean over. And then I do have a tunnel that goes all the way around this. So I have certain holes I follow up. But like that, I will have to take some of the stuff off and lean over pick it up wow this well i have to say this is an amazing place one of my classic scenes i love is you might know uh there is a, a shot of of um adam west dressed as batman riding an elephant and an old black and white photograph and it's my favorite classic i'm a circus fanatic so i did recreate that scene just for me batman riding an elephant but there is actually a real scene that is crazy and then also, uh, real quick, I see something else malfunctioning. The pirates should be spinning. That's something else to check out when you leave. Uh, the pirates are supposed to be spinning. No big deal, but they're supposed to be spinning. But as you go up the mountain there, you might notice Angelina. Uh, well, that's that, that's your SO tour. Your SO tour come out of the mountain. Elvis is driving the Jeep. Marilyn Bob Hope are in back with Jerome Patton. And that's Oliver Hardy from Law and Hardy. Because mm -hmm. now I've learned, I have to say, that's Oliver Hardy. Because I've had about five people saying, great looking Hitler doll. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I'm like, there's a generation that's never heard of Law and Hardy. So. And then Angie's your hood ornament. Hood ornament. <laughs> and then of course your friendship Barbie plane up here. You got the Beverly Hills dolls, the Blossom dolls, with uh, Rosie O'Donnell is your friendly airline stewardess. <laughs> I'm going to put her image. I've worked with her before. She's been friendly as can be, but I'm going to find her. I heard image. she's pretty nice. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going to put that image I give her. And the monkey's guitar? Yeah, the monkey's guitar and all kind of, you see, I kind of cram as much stuff. And Weird Al? Weird Al, and I didn't know which head to use, so I gave them both heads. <laughs> And then wow. of course someone else, someone else no one remembers anymore. We got old Kojak here with this sucker. Is that a Kojak doll? That's a Kojak doll, yeah. Wow. So I'll be a Kojak. Then of course you got the uh Is that Howard? Uh it's not Howard, but yes, I, I call it my Howard. It's it's actually part of the Ninja Turtle playset, but yes, it does look like Howard the Duck. But wow. it's part of your Ninja Turtles. Uh oh. Yeah, I got the banana splits. There you go. Our cursor to the Teletubbies. <laughs> hey, hey. The banana splits were way better than the Teletubbies. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah I, I agree with you on that. But the reason I'm I, I was a puppeteer, so I like my mm. mouths to move. Oh. Their mouths did not move, if you remember. Yeah, but as and a the kid. The Teletubbies did not move either. <laughs> yeah, but as a kid, man, uh, Otongo and all the. Yeah, they. they well, were, for, for some strange reason, I was a strange kid, so it did affect me that their mouths did not move. Well, that and, and uh, HR Pup and stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah, Sid yeah. and Marty Croft were geniuses. Yeah. Some, some of Sid and Marty Croft puppets are back there too. Unless there's, there's some of them back there. I don't know if you can see them back there. Oh yeah, down there I see him at the bottom. I, I see HR Pub and stuff. He's he's back there. There he is. Yeah, so he's not crammed over as much in here as I can possibly do. I didn't see no Sigmund and the Sea Monster stuff. Uh, Sigmund and the Sea Monster, Sigmund is right there. You did have him! I was just guessing. Look at that. Wow. I, I just realized I had a mousetrap in here too. You might notice I am having a little rodent problem. So, <laughs> so yeah. that's how the mousetrap came included. Hank, Boomhauer. Yeah, I'm missing, uh, I'm missing, uh, Bobby. missing Bobby because, uh, yeah, I refuse to pay the price I have to pay for him. Because <laughs> most of the stuff I've gotten reduced or cheap. And, and uh, well, speaking of that, and, uh, 
when I have the annual Superman convention, mm -hmm. I always a dealer from Chicago. I had Bobby there in the so mint and packaging. It wanted thirty bucks for it. I'm gonna come home, open it up. So, 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 so I didn't want to pay thirty. Yeah. <laughs>